Thank you, Mariah. With Earth Day coming up this month, one organization hosted an event yesterday to celebrate the Earth and how we take care of it. 3 News reporter Brandon Schaff was at Heritage Park for the Coastal Bend Bay Foundation's 23rd annual Earth Day Bay Day. This is data. I'm collecting data right now. That data is being collected by Amy West for her work at the Heart Research Institute. She studies the Corpus Christi Bay and how we affect it. The Earth Day Bay Day event at Heritage Park revolves around that theme. There's so many things that it does for you. It feeds us, it, it entertains us. It's like, it's, I don't know, this whole area is all about these bay systems and it's just, it kind of reverberates through everything. Her research involves asking people what the bay means to them. She says she's happy with how honest their answers were. One of the things I really love about this is that people are using feeling words instead of, you know, I, there are a lot of people saying fishing, uh, but people are using feeling words like peaceful and tranquil. It's interesting. As for the day's activities, the birds of the Coastal Bend were on full display as well. Interactive shows in the center of the park gave kids a chance to learn about the birds that they don't get a chance to see every day. Like Chance, a rehabilitated owl at the Texas State Aquarium. Chance was found as a fledgling um, and a good Samaritan brought him into our rescue center and there he was rehabilitated. He does missing part of his left wing, but he has been with us for the past almost six years now. As everyone got a chance to learn about those animals and the efforts to conserve them, wildlife care specialist Giovanna Pena spoke about the importance of the community helping when they can. What we do is all for the animals, but it's important for the public to know that as well. Um, everyone should give back, and I feel the community has a sense that they're able to help once they bring an animal in. Since 2018, the Wildlife Rescue Center at the aquarium has seen more than 6,000 patients, most injured by human causes. Events like today help to raise awareness about what it takes to take care of the ecosystem here in the Coastal Bend. We are the birdiest city around to see all those birds that are coming through through migration and then have a rescue center that is able to help all those birds and maybe hopefully get them back out into the world after they've been rehabilitated or, you know, find forever homes. And Brandon Schaff, 3 News. Earth Day is on April 22nd this year, which is just a couple of weeks away. The Wildlife Rescue Center wants to remind people to report any stranded animals they see to help them get the care that they need.